welcome to every one of you to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler, and the biggest welcome from me is to Alan Smith alongside me. Hey guys, JDogs95 here, bringing you round one of the BGL A-League season between Adelaide United and Melbourne Heart. I've got Tech Man Australia next to me. Uh, Bailey, what are your thoughts on this encounter? Oh, I thought it was a pretty even game. Starting off, uh, Adelaide scored the first goal. I think it went goal for goal, and then there was a goal. I'll let you find out the results. Won't give it away too much. But, um, yeah, I thought it was a fairly even game, and... Yeah, I think it was a good encounter between the both of us. Yeah, quite a nail biter. As you can see, the I think it's pronounced Tupa Stanley, I think, is um, the new recruit from the Melbourne Heart. And also, who did Adelaide United get as their international player? They got uh, Garvey from... Uh, uh, Barcelona? Clue. Barcelona, Yeah, that's Barcelona, it. that's it. And um, as you can see there, we're in the number six, and he's in the starting 11. And... There is the four three three formation. Um, yeah. And that's we didn't point. make a substitution on the day. We thought the team was going along fairly well, but you know that could change in different things, and we could maybe get a result by making a few subs. Yeah. As the Melbourne Heart have a four three three as well. There is Joe Hart on screen, the international player for the Melbourne Heart. He'll be hard to get through today, you think? Uh, also, Alex Terra has come back from Korea to come and play. No, we're not. Here we go. He's kick off. Looking right early, bit composed. Oh, it's like a pretty bad first touch there from a few people. And Adelaide have got it. Yeah. And oh, it's on, on. Nah. And that was good goalkeeping. The keeper came out a little bit and up near corner. Good head out there from the heart, but now a shot from probably a ridiculous range, you would say. Gives a goal kick to the Melbourne Heart. They're just playing it now. Up the far side. And it's looking all Adelaide at the moment, Bailey. Yeah, we did have a great start to the game. I thought we were all over the top, but then Melbourne Heart sort of composed the, the onslaught and sort of evened it out a bit, I think. I think in the end he's had probably two times more shots than us, I would say. So, yeah, he's definitely had your opportunities, but, um, yeah. And so it's a free kick to Topol Stanley. And he will kick to Berich, to Matt Thompson, to Williams. And he's looking inboard, more toward Fred. But it's a turnover and Malik's got it for United. Beautiful through ball there to Van Dyke. He goes backward to Xavi. And yeah, I think that might have been a bit of a. That was probably wrecked the um, the attack. So like the momentum sort of bring it back here. Yeah, the momentum. And I think that was a bad decision by the boys. Yeah. I, I, I actually thought that would have been on, though. I reckon there was another through ball there. I'm not sure. Can't get the replay, but I reckon there might have been a through ball there. And had he gotten that, I reckon it'd be 1-0. Thompson. Thompson's got it for Hart to Terra. And he's come back game for Hart. Beautiful defence there. Now, Xavi, and that is easily a free kick. Plays the ball quickly to Malik, who crosses it into Van Dyke, and he's looking good early. He has a shot. You know, just misses. Yeah, so as I was just saying, Van Dyke is looking really good early. Yes, he is looking hot. Thompson's got it now for Hart again. He's got a bit of it. Williams. And he gives it to Fred, the captain. Back to Williams. And they could go out to Terra here. Terra has a shot on goal and good defending there by the keeper. And, uh... There'll be a corner. Couple Stanley tried to head that in, but now it's on up. Colosimo's got it again to the heart. Turnover. Stanley. Terra. You go again here. He does. There's a head on. The wounds, and it should be a corner. 
Just while I've got a bit of a stop of play, like, who do you think you're, like, I know, like, they haven't found the, out the result yet, but your best player for the for the day, overall? Um, pretty hard. I thought Joe Hart was good in keeping, but uh, it was good to see Terra come back and play some good football. But uh, I think Williams and Matt Thompson did play pretty well. And so yeah. that Garcia before he got injured in the 87th. Sorry to spoil it, but he got injured. But yeah, it's I couldn't really pick one because I thought it was all around team effort. But yeah, still disappointed about our conversion rate. Um, what well, who do you reckon your best player was? Your keeper was pretty good. Yeah, the keeper he was fantastic. He had he went through I think it was something like 20 something shots. Only let two through, so that was a fairly good effort by him. Um, Garvey was good for his first game for the club. Seemed to fit in pretty well straight away. Um, and also Van Dyke, he was pretty handy early as well. So, yeah. But um, same with you. Like, I think everyone was... Everyone played their role. That Not everyone was a standout, but were, everyone played their role, so that's the main thing. Yeah, as we said, Williams had a shot and miss there, and usually Williams should slot them, but uh, as you can tell so far, the conversion rate from Hart is not looking overly good at the moment. Yeah. So I think it was like a pretty crisp game of football, like most passes were fairly good, like the three balls, they were fairly good, like passes for the first game of the year. The Both teams were pretty switched on, so it looked like... Pretty high quality game. Just misses there. Fred just misses. Well, that was. See, it's getting. I don't know whether it's just bad football there by the heart or it's just unlucky football. Because whatever they're trying to do, they keep getting the counter attack and just can't score. But that was a ridiculous shot there. The head. Uh, probably should have controlled that and. Uh, try to get it. So I think we can talk about some other games that have been in the the league this so far. I think you'll be doing a commentary with Alex Chisholm, the Sydney FC coach, but I think we can talk about the um, Manchester versus... Who was it? Was it Manchester versus... No. Uh, not Manchester. <laughs> um, uh, it was... Melbourne victory versus the Wanderers, was it? Yeah, versus the Wanderers, and the scores on that... I th think it was a two-all victory. Yeah. A two-all, wasn't it? The same as it. Two-all. Oh. oh yeah. Um, if my laptop loads here, I can tell you the scores. But my laptop is so slow these days. As it's still not even loading a picture. Uh, <laughs> struggling a little bit. Um, I know Ronaldo scored two goals for the Wanderers on debut, but. Uh, hang on, this isn't working. I'm about to smash something. I swear to God. No, there we go. Um, Milligan for the victory score in the 26th and then Leisure in the 31st. It was 2 0 at half time. Then Ronaldo came out the 63rd and the 78th and kicked two. So it was 2 all in the end there. Uh, victory had their chances and uh, spoiled it. Yeah, so what about the uh, international recruits for all the teams? How about we have a bit of a talk about them and <laughs> discuss them? I think it's pretty good for the A League to be getting these high profile names and it's. Um, Promoting, promoting people to go to the games to watch these high-class players. Yeah, um, I originally thought with this, with the international players coming over, you have to get strikers or something like that. Because instead of just people come to the game to watch more goals getting kicked. And if you've got keepers, like really good international keepers, can be hard to get goals past them. So yeah. I think it's kind of wrecked it that people have gone the keeper. I know I've gone the keeper, but... That's only safety, because everyone else decided to. Um, but yeah, if not, I would have definitely gone a striker, um, just for the more goals, because it's better entertainment. Yeah, so I think one of probably the two of the better pickups would have been Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi were going to um, the Aaron Lowe's team. Uh, yeah, the Brisbane Raw. Brisbane Raw, so that's a pretty handy pickup by them, and also the Wanderers getting Cristiano Ronaldo, that's very handy, and also the Hart getting probably one of the best keepers going around at the moment, Hart. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, Sydney FC got Casaliers from Real Madrid, the uh, keeper from there. Is that half time here? Uh, nil all. So that first half was the uh, bit interesting. Considering no goals were scored. Um, yeah, and you can see with uh, Central Coast, they had the buy in round one. And you see in round two, they're going to bring out Robin Van Persie from Manchester United. So that is going to be quite something to see. As you can actually see on screen at the moment, possession at half time at 61.39 percentage. So, and the shot's 11 for Hart. So, um, yeah, they've had a bit of it and just haven't been able to score so far. So let's hope for a good second half. Here we go with the second half. Yes. Uh, yeah, and we forgot to say, uh, Melbourne Victory's Rempe international player, that was there, uh, Hugo Loris, I think. That's good attacking yeah, play. from Tottenham. The uh, keeper, the he's not bad. And that's probably, yeah, that's all the uh, international the selections. And then the well former, well. hang on, there's a the shot on goal, and it's a head it's goal to goal. Garcia in the 48 for the Melbourne Heart. That will make it 1-0, and it only took three minutes for that goal. It was a very good goal by Garcia there. And it was a good cross in by his teammate as well. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying about the former A-League selections, Emil Heskey has gone to Sydney FC. Uh, Alex Terra to the heart. Melbourne Victory and Adelaide United both didn't choose one due to salary cap reasons. Um, Central Coast have chosen Shane Smeltz from Perth Glory. Brisbane Roar have chosen Jacob Burns from Perth Glory. And the Wanderers have picked up Adrian Madashi, I think, from Juju United. He used to play A-League for someone, I don't know. Ooh. He played like a guest game for Hart or something like that. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, Cassio got the ball oh. now. Interception. Oh, that surely has to be a free kick. They've paid advantage there. Just clears it out there. Right. Van Dyke. Heads it. That's a very good head. Right. Gus has got it on the counter attack. Lovric. Goes back to Williams. But Malik intercepts nicely. Does like a bit of a slide through ball, and that is out. It will be. Hart's ball. Garcia to Lover. Those two attackers are like. Goes to Thompson. He goes out wide to Verich. I can't tell you pronounce it. Thompson. Terra. Garcia. Yeah, to Lover. He's going to go again. Oh, good save there by Galkovic. Yes, yeah, so I was very impressed with my keeper there. We were sort of going to go along the same path as. Uh, or the other clubs maybe look for a high-profile keeper, but we decided to go with um, decided to go with Garvey. But um, I think the keepers really like showing that what he can do like to this game today. I think they had what was it 20-something shots in the end, Jared? Uh, it was 23 with 13 on target, so he would have saved 11. 11. So that's a pretty good effort, and it's just a near miss there. To Williams. Um, you see saves so far, 6-1. to one. Goal, Kivik, it's just killing it at the moment. Um, but straight away in the counter-attack again is the Melbourne Heart through Lovrek, who he's a very underrated unit. He goes about his football very nicely. Garcia, who is... You can see he's pretty tired out there, Garcia. Marone's got it. Now Fred. passing here. Passed out wide to Lovrek, in to Terra and nothing. And that was a ridiculous shot on goal that should not have been taken. But, uh, gives Adelaide United another chance here as they're going forward quickly. Through Xavi, to Van Dyke. Oh, that was unfortunate. Marone. And he will work it back. Oh no, a two on one. And the one looks like it's going to win. Oh, that would have been something. That would have been play of the day, because it's a corner now. Marone will take it. I mean, no, I don't know who that was. He's five for the head, McCain. Got it. Got the goal. There's a go. Ah, McCain has done the game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So one all in 67. 
and that was quite a good goal. Pretty poor keeping there from the international keeper. Just there. Takes out his player on the way. his own teammate. James. I reckon we should have a talk about the round two fixture. Yeah. I've got it up in front of me here. Um, the games are Central Coast versus my boys Adelaide United. I think that might be played tonight. Um, Sydney FC versus Melbourne Victory. That's always a, a good rivalry. Um, Melbourne Heart versus Brisbane Raw. So hopefully that's a good game. They've always got a bit of a tussle in the BGL leagues. Aaron Lowe and Jared Dobler. Um, and also the buy is to Western Sydney. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Ronaldo's from his good form, two goals, now has to have a rest. But I reckon it'll be interesting to uh, see the Melbourne Heart Brisbane Royal game because there is all a rivalry, as you said. But to make it even more of a rivalry, you got uh, um, Lionel Messi for Brisbane and the keeper for Melbourne Heart, Joe Hart, so... You know, it's going to be Messi versus Hart. Hart's just going to have to play the best games of his life. He doesn't want to let any through for any chance of Hart to win. But, um, uh, I'm, yeah. Who are you going to tip out of the uh, two games that you aren't playing in there? Uh, Sydney FC versus Melbourne Victory. I think Melbourne Victory will overcome there after Sid Sydney FC losing 5-0 to Brisbane Raw this week. Um... Um, and Melbourne Heart versus Brisbane Raw, that's a tough one. Um, oh, um, I'd have to, with my experience here, after versing Melbourne Heart and Brisbane Raw in 5 0, I think I might have to go with Brisbane Raw, but I definitely think it will be a close game. What about the two games you're not playing in? Oh, we haven't seen anything in Central Coast, so we can't really comment yet on them, but there is a uh, interim coach at the moment and for another 10 days I think so I reckon under the interim coach I reckon they'll lose I reckon Adelaide United will get the win there pretty comfortably um, oh hello and then oh he's open Ooh. keeping Van Dyke has a shot and beautiful keeping there by Joe Hart that's probably the best thing he's done all day as we go back to this so I reckon yeah United will get up over the Mariners and I reckon victory could give Sydney FC a bit of a touch-up because played victory in a few friendlies and uh, they, they are one of the quality sides of the competition. So, as also, oh, goal. there we go, there's a goal by Lovric in the 81st minute. And also, just um, while we're talking about other teams, who do you think are the Premiership favourites of this year? Oh, I thought the Wanderers because uh, they did talk it up a bit, being their first year in the comp and all. But I reckon after the five nil drubbing, I reckon the Brisbane Roar have come out to prove something. Um, so I reckon they could get it with Lionel Messi leading that team. The victory. Um, I was originally going to go the Wanderers, and I knew the victory was. I reckon I rate them about third in the comp, and they had a two all draw with the Wanderers. So this is a substitute coming in. So I reckon because they drew and a five. No win to the Raw. I reckon the Raw will be versing the Wanderers in the final, and I reckon they'll win. As Williams is off, will be subbed. Uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'd probably have to go the same with you. I didn't, didn't really hear much about the Wanderers, but after, after a few reports, I hear that they're a pretty handy side. But um, after seeing the 5 0 victory, I don't think we can go past Brisbane Raw at the moment, but we'll see how things pan out. And also, guys, just while I got it here, um, BGL Media will be getting partnered by TGN in the next week or two, hopefully. It's been a pretty long process, but hopefully we can get there pretty soon. And, um, yeah, we'll be seeing some pretty good content coming out with the new league coming. Yep. As you can see, Williams off, Hoffman on, and they high five, looking like they've got this game in the bag. Which you think they just about do, considering there is not long to play, only five minutes of game time. It's now. You think this would be one last chance for United here? Yeah, one last roll at all, I reckon. Bit of sick, I think. What's pronounced? I'm not sure. But then Dyke has got it. He strikes and he goals. <laughs> The He's level from the 88th minute. I don't think it's going to be... I think it's going to be a draw for now. I think it's going to be hard for Hart to come back. He thought they had it, and then 
straight away a counter attack from Adelaide United makes it two all, and I can't really see any team winning from here. This is the last roll of the dice, I think, for both teams, and it, oh, this oh gets bored. This could be close. Nah, we'll turn over. I think that might be it now. It's we'll see how much stop time there is. Be shown in a couple of seconds. There is Boot. two stoppage minutes, so there's not long to go now. Um, you think this might be the last play here? Um, yeah, Adelaide would almost just feel like this is a victory, scoring in the 88, just about. Yeah, and definitely they'll be. They'll. I think they'll. We were. Pretty, we were very happy with the draws. We were like outplayed most of the day, like 23 shots to 10 or 11, I think it was. But there goes the siren, and there's a draw. So. It's a bit of a weird feeling for both clubs getting a draw in the first game, but I think Adelaide will be happy with the draw. Don't know about Melbourne Heart, though. Considering the shots here, the Heart don't think will be particularly happy, but, you know, it's a game, weird things can happen, so I reckon they'll regroup, they'll come out and try and give the Raw a good game at least. So that's just about it from us. We'll just go through the stats and then... Hope you've we will Smith and myself, Martin leave you, and you the uh, wrap for round one will be up later on as well. So, as you can see the highlights there, the goal getting through Joe Hart, and um, yeah, the stats are coming up now, I think, match details. Yep, as you can see, goals two all, shots eight to twenty three, shots on target four to thirteen. So you can see already, possession forty one percent, fifty nine percent. It's a heart still tackles fourteen to six. A good defence there, but Adelaide United fouls one to two in Melbourne's favour. Um, no yellow or red cards. One injury, no offsides. Five corners to the heart and two to Adelaide United. As you can see, Garcia's injury there. Um. All the goals and what minutes they were scored in. Um, and the substitution. That one was Williams and Hoffman. So that's just about it. Um, player of the match has been given to Alex Terror, rated 9.6 out of 10. So he had quite a good game. McCain was best on ground for Adelaide United with 9.4. Right, th thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. Last words, Bailey. Um, yeah, just the same as that. Go check out both of our personal channels. Mine's TechmanOz1. I'm sure the link will be in the description. And Jared's is JDubs95. Um, but yeah, guys, just subscribe and there'll be partnership up here soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys.